Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna be doing a video today about our snorkel install. We're just on our way out to Forged Performance, which is out uh, in the Adelaide Hills. In this video, I'll go over some of the different types of snorkels. I'll also go over some of the benefits of having a snorkel. I'll talk about some of the problems with some of the snorkels that are on the market as well. And then obviously we'll drop the car off to Forged Performance and I'll show you at the end of the video when we're picking the car up with the new snorkel and what it looks like really excited to see it if you can guys make sure you give the video a like down below also consider subscribing to our channel as well so you can stay up to date with any other videos or any other mods we're doing we've had the car for a little while now uh, we've done nothing about the snorkel it's always been something that's been on our mind but never really 100% committed to what kind of snorkel we wanted to go with popular choice would be the safari snorkel pretty run-of-the-mill looking it's actually really, really boxy on the patrol as well. Uh, the part that attaches to the guard is, is quite a large box. Uh, I've never personally been much of a fan of that particular model. The other option that's quite popular is the TJM snorkel. The TJM snorkel actually wraps around up on top of the windscreen, comes up the side pillar and then comes across the top of the windscreen. There was a bit of an issue for a little while with the TJM one taking on water. All snorkels are probably gonna get a little bit of water in them. It's just part of life. The better snorkels are obviously designed to get rid of that water and not let it go down into the air filter. I've heard from a few sources that they've either fixed that model, they've got a fix for it, and or they're bringing out a new model. So if I was a bit more patient and I wasn't in as much of a rush for our next trip to the Cape, I would probably wait out for the TJM snorkel, but that's not the case so seen some really good stainless snorkels I'll throw some pictures up of the custom uh, stainless snorkels as well just for your own information I've sort of stared at all the photos and all the pictures I can of each of the snorkels like I said I'd prefer probably the TJM one looks wise but functionality it's just not really up to scratch until possibly that new model comes out so what we've decided to do is go with the five inch stainless. So we're gonna get a five inch stainless, seamless. So basically they're smoothing out all those welds and then we'll be having it powder coated black, which should match our car quite nicely and they usually look quite quite nice as well. With the stainless snorkels, there's a couple of options. So previously and on most other cars, you tend to go a four inch stainless. On the patrol, such a big, wide, large car, the four inch stainless tends to look like a bit of a toothpick on the side of the car. So we step it up to a five inch tube and that sort of comes out from the airbox and along the guard and, uh, and up the pillar. As far as finishing the top of the snorkel, again, there's a couple of different options. A popular one, obviously you come up and do a bend and a rear facing. Uh, and then there's another one that I reckon might've even been started by a company in Queensland called Fats Fabrication. I uh, could be wrong but that's my personal favorite uh, look for the snorkel. The snorkel actually finishes at roof height, so it's a low cut and it's facing a little bit backwards. I'll throw a photo up here and you'll probably make a lot more sense of what I'm trying to explain, but to give you a little list of, of what we're after today, and I think personal opinion, everyone's gonna be different, but I feel like they're gonna look the nicest on our particular car, so I'm excited about getting it done. I'm a little bit nervous as well. We'll see how it goes. I've been chatting to Forge Performance via Facebook and text. Yeah, we're, we're excited to see how it all goes. Well, pick the car up from Forge Performance. Uh, so it's got the snorkel on. I'll give you a look now and let me know what you think. I'm still 50-50 about it at the moment. My options were, as I said before, the Safari, which is quite a popular sort of run of the mill option. Uh, the other option was TJM. The TJM snorkel was probably my favorite option. Um, it was difficult to get a hold of, if at all. So um, it's not meant to be on for sale. So my only real option personally was the stainless five inch seamless low cut snorkel from Forge. There's a couple of businesses interstate that sell them as well. Getting it here in time for our trip was gonna be difficult. And also I wasn't overly keen on cutting a massive hole in the guard myself. So uh, as it was the only option was Forge Performance really. Guy was really nice to talk to. Overall did a, a good job with what he had available to him. He did say that the Y62 is a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, the angles of the A pillar, where the guard sits out, 
the way it goes into the air box none of it was sort of run-of-the-mill easy stuff so to speak for example the the inlet into the air box that joins the snorkel to the air box was actually a bit of five inch to six inch silicon reducer so six inch is getting pretty big the outlet on the air box the factory air box is quite a large oval or rectangle size so getting that to fit on there nicely was a bit of a a bit of a stuff around for him but uh, he managed to get it on there i'll show you some shots of inside the air box there so you can see how it's joined up the fitting overall it's pretty good it's it really it's exactly what i asked for like i said i'm not sure if i'm 100 sold on the look yet i think i'm just used to my car without anything there basically so it should be good it's going to do what it needs to do that's the main thing so we're heading up to the cape uh in july and obviously there's been a lot of water up there recently uh, you know the river crossings it's probably going to be a portion of the water still there. We're going to be doing water crossings no matter what. And the snorkel is a, is a good bit of insurance for that sort of thing, along with the diff breathers as well. I'll link the diff breathers video just up here. Um, so you can go have a look at that as well. It's just a video of me going through the steps I took to fit the diff breathers and the transmission breathers as well and transfer case. So that's all all sort of going to work together as a bit of insurance for this next trip which should be good i did read before getting the snorkel and trying to work out which direction to go i did read a bit of feedback on the noise of the snorkel so i was sort of half expecting it to be honest a lot of the forward facing snorkels eliminate any of that noise but as soon as you have a rear facing snorkel you can hear a lot of that engine induction noise as well so um, I'll play a couple of clips of me doing some pulls in the back streets and give you a, a, a listen to the sound of it. It's, it's like an angry dinosaur. It's quite funny actually. With the window up like it is at the moment it's really no different to before i can't even tell that the snorkel's there he did a really good job of hiding it behind the a pillar if you drive these cars you probably know that the giant side mirrors and the a pillars give you a bit of a blind spot issue you know certain situations but he's done a really good job of hiding it behind the a pillar so i'm really happy with that i can only just see a tip of it um i'll get a shot for you here and you'll be able to see from my point of view what i can see of the snorkel uh, so i'm really happy with that side of things happy that the snorkel is almost silent with the window up these cars are really well insulated i've already shown you what it sounds like with the window down which is getting pretty extreme for me just talking to you now obviously you can't really hear it you can hear a bit of the exhaust but as soon as i pop that window down even just a bit quite funny actually it's um, one of those things that's gonna add to a bit of a fuel bill while this toy's still new same thing with the exhaust it really comes down to personal preference the safari is known to work known to be popular it's been used forever arb recommend it it's a great snorkel just the looks side of things weren't particularly appealing to me quite bulky off the guard and everything but in saying that this stainless snorkel sort of turned out to be quite large and and uh, in your face as well so I'll leave that up to you to decide. Some of the benefits of fitting a snorkel, obviously you're lifting the wadding depth of the car, which is quite important as well, especially if you're gonna be doing water crossings. On a petrol, some might say it's not needed. That's a very old school way of thinking. This petrol in particular, 
along with many others, is just as capable for river crossings as anything else, any diesel. The snorkel obviously lifts up that water wadding depth quite a substantial amount and also brings some cold air into the motor as well. So if you're traveling a lot of dusty roads, it lifts that air intake up a lot higher. So this particular car with the Y62, the air intake is actually inside the guard liner in the wheel arch. From a lot of trips that we've done, that it tends to take in a lot of dust. So that air filter really does do a lot of work. Bringing that air filter up a lot higher just makes it better and keeps it up out of the dust, which should help keep the air filter a bit cleaner as well. All right, guys, I hope that video helped some of you. Had a little bit of information in there, anything I could think of that might be useful if you are looking to do a snorkel or looking to get a patrol and just sort of mapping out your uh, mods list. Um, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Any ideas, anything I forgot, anything I was wrong about, because I'm definitely open to that. Again, if you give the video a like, that'd be really helpful. See you on the next one. Cheers. that guys <laughs> Kiana